Hello everyone, I must say it's always a real privilege to come and take from this venue a warm welcome to North London. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Tottenham Hotspur up against Aston Villa. Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Dejan Kurusevsky out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Matty Cash plays with Luca Dina in the fullback positions. Leon Bailey starts with Coutinho out wide. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. Thank you. Enjoy the game. Potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Eric Dyer. Sessegnon. Son. And fired against the crossbar. Goal kick it'll be. John McGinn. It's with Camara. Danny Ings. And strong play here. Not a good pass. Well, it's impossible to escape the conclusion that Harry Kane is just a thorough professional. Stuart, what do you anticipate seeing from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Son. Harry Kane. Ryan Sessegnon has it. Spurs trying to use space to good effect. Forced into the penalty area. Struggling to get it away. Well, they survived the attack. Really good challenge. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. And through for the goal kick. He hit it with power. Ramsey Ings he got a good palm on it well you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score Derek they've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one Hyung Min Son really a very poor ball Ings and now Coutinho Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Squanders the chance for 1-0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Bentancourt. Son. Sessegnon. 
Well, sometimes they come off for you, sometimes they don't, Stuart. Well, he didn't get the technique right there, and as a result, he mistimes the contact on the ball. A brilliant work to keep that one in play. Possession given away, unfortunately. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Coutinho. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Son. They could really get at the opposition. That's a routine take. Sessegnon. Well, that's behind absolutely everyone. And Kane prepared to fire. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Eccentric goalkeeping. Happy to take on the shot. And I think we can call him one mighty relieved goalkeeper. Well, he can smile now, but that was a big blunder. Bailey. The Spurs have dominated the flow of the game in the last 15 minutes or so, and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Emerson. It's with Bentancourt. Kulusevski. Spurs pushing forward with options available. Good visualisation and execution. And Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. Cash. Oh, he's given us away. Son. <laughs> Half time then here in the English capital. Harry Kane, who has emerged as one of the leading striking talents in world football, but is he going to be a bit cross with himself based on what he's produced? Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. McGinn. And good pressure high up the pitch. Good movement, but really sticking to the task defensively. Kulusevski, tremendous ball played through. Shot attempted, superb block. Read it superbly to take back possession. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Son, a chance maybe from the wide position. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish.
So back in business, and it's Spurs in front here. Bubakar Kamara. Going well. How about the cross? Well, that'll be a corner. A goal here would really change the complexion of this match. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Bentancur and on to Kurusevsky. And Kane prepared to fire. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And Kane's header is technically spot on. He arrives at the right time, makes good contact with the ball. It's a brilliant goal. Underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Substitution for Aston Villa. Look at Inia. It's a good looking ball in behind, but ably intercepted when it looked as though they might be in. Harry Kane. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity. Using space on the opposite flank now. Well, that's a super ball over the top. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Bailey. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it petered out. McGinn. Well, they've given him too much space. Could pull one back here. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Take it away. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Douglas Luiz. He read the situation defensively and did his job. He's in here. And nicely struck. Goodness gracious me! How about that for technique? You can't strike them much better than that! Back underway here, and it's been all Spurs so far. You sense there could be extra punishment dished out. And they stopped them in their tracks. It's ten minutes, and he's in. And he takes it on. Well, the goalkeeper is thankful that it wasn't a better effort than it actually was. Coutinho, what a shocking pass really.
Bentancourt. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Oh, big opportunity. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But you have to question the defending here. They don't attack the ball when it comes in. They don't react quickly enough to close the scorer down. It's really poor defending. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Bentancourt. Well, he has players waiting at the back post. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then from that sort of range, Son was never going to miss. It's a well-worked goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And a big chunk of added time here. A minimum of five minutes. Douglas Luiz. Snuffing out the danger. Bentancourt. Coutinho, opportunity, timely intervention. And with that, the referee says that is the end of the match and Spurs victorious. Their fans are going to be happy with this. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening and they played really well. What a performance that was today. So a top level contribution from Hyung Min Son. How many times do we say that? Quite a lot is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.